हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस बी टेक्स सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएसन ऑफ पाई स्पार्क इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स सो दिस इज पार्ट एटीन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन मोर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ टू डेज विथ रो सो वी हैव वन केस स्टेटमेंट विच इज वी आर हैविंग ए टेबल एंड इट्स कंटेनिंग एक्टर आई डी एंड डायरेक्टर आई डी अलॉन्ग विद द टाइम स्टैप एंड इफ यू कैन सी द प्रॉब्लम सो वी आर रिक्वायर टू राइट ए पाई स्पार्क प्रोग्राम फॉर रिपोर्ट दैट प्रोवाइज द प्रेयर ऑफ एक्टर एंड डायरेक्टर आई डी वेयर द एक्टर हैज कॉपरेटेड विद डायरेक्टर एट लीस्ट थ्री टाइम्स सो इफ एनी एंट्री विच इज कमिंग एक्टर एंड डायरेक्टर प्रेयर थ्री टाइम्स देन वी वन सी दैट इन द आउटपुट एज वी कैन सी एक्टर आई डी वन फॉर डायरेक्टर आई डी वन is coming three times so it is coming in the output similarly if you can see actor is coming two time and director is coming two time but it is not coming in the output because it's not coming three times similarly for the actor id 2 and we can see director id 1 it is coming two times so these row should not be appear in the output only the first row will go in the output how we can write this program for getting this output and the difficulty level of this is easy so you can pause this video and you can think how you can achieve it so let me tell you the scenario so the scenario first we should be having a data frame which will be containing about your input data that you can see here and this data frame first we are required to do the group by on the actor id and director id column and we should be getting the count of those so your first data frame that could be df1 will be having actor id and then the director id so like actor id your first column then your director id will be your second column and third will be your count so what will be count so count similarly we can see it will be having 1 2 and 3 so actor id 1 director id 1 and count will be 3 for the second row actor id 1 director id 2 and count will be 2 third will be having actor id 2 and director id 1 and then count will be 2 so if your count is 3 or more than that then we should be getting the output otherwise we will not be going to get those rows in the output so what we can do we can simply do the filter on this newly created data frame and we'll be going to filter on the count column if this count value is greater than 2 it means we are excluding the record which is less than or equals to 2 so let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical so here i am going to first importing the types for creating this data frame and then we are creating the schema so under the schema we are having the same schema as actor id director id and time stamp and the same data that we have seen there so let me try to execute this cell so this cell has been executed successfully and we can see the same data so what we can do the first thing that i told you we should be going to use the group by on your actor id and director id column and then we'll get the count of those so let me try to see the output of this so we can use the display function for checking the output of this result df let me execute this cell for checking the output so here it is saying error because the is spelling was not correct so let me use the display now we can execute and we'll see the output of this so we can see we are having the same data that we were expecting next we can simply go and do the filter on this result df so let me try to use this result df dot then we can do the filter and inside the filter we should be going to use your count column which should be greater than 2 and let me put this into another data frame that could be df1 and this time let me use the df1 here let me execute and we'll see the output so it should be going to appear only those rows which is having the count is at least 3 so that we can see so let me try to go here and let me try to add 1 and 2 so i am going to update this data frame so now your 
director 2 is going to work three times with this actor so this time in the output we should be getting these two rows so let me execute and we'll verify the output so as we can see we are getting the expected output as in the output we are having only these two columns so for that we can simply use the select and then we can specify the column like actor id and director id let me try to execute this cell and we'll see count will go on here so this is the query by which we can achieve this output so i hope guys you have understood how we can write the query for getting this output thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video